Do you want to make your implant placement more predictable? Implant surgery can be very stressful, but when utilizing 3D printing and surgical guides, you can make this a much easier and more predictable treatment. Let's learn how this is done. First, using the patient's intraoral and CBCT scans, we digitally plan the ideal implant placement. You will literally place the implant digitally before you even raise a scaffold in real life. In this software, you can take into account the patient's anatomical structures and prosthetic considerations. It is a restorative-driven workflow. In this case, we are using Implant Studio by 3Shape, one of the market leaders in guided surgery and digital implant planning. After importing all the patient data, align it all and place the digital implant, then design the guide. This is generally a very simple process and takes no more than a few minutes. You can see this being done in real time here. All the channels, holes, space for sleeves, etc. is all incorporated automatically based on the digital implant library you've chosen. You can also add windows and bars easily. Once you're happy with your surgical guide design, export the STL and import it into your 3D printing software. This will differ for every printer, but they all work the same. In this case, we're using Preform by Formlabs. Set up the surgical guide's printing position on the build platform and generate its support. Remember to have the intanglio or fitting surface of the guide facing away from the build platform. Send the project file to your 3D printer and prepare your printer. In this case, we're using the Formlabs 3B Plus printer. Insert your build platform and make sure it's clean. Insert the print cartridge and make sure it is the right material. Select the project file on your 3D printer and start printing. The duration of the printing process depends on the printer used and the object's height or how it was positioned on the printer software. For this case, the printing time was around 70 minutes or just over an hour. The platform is submerged into the resin vat and the guide is printed layer by layer. Surgical guide resins are generally transparent or translucent, biocompatible, and autoclavable. Once finished, carefully remove the build platform and let the excess resin drip back into the vat. Remove the surgical guide from the platform using a spatula. Remove any of the connectors with the pliers. Brush the guide and wash in two IPA baths, one to remove the bulk of the resin and one cleaner IPA solution for a final wash. After washing, let the guide dry on the bench or air dryer, then cure the guide using proper curing settings as recommended by the manufacturer. Improper post-processing can negatively impact the guide's strength, fit, translucency, and biocompatibility. After curing, polish off any support leftovers. We are not necessarily trying to achieve a high shine here, but rather removal of any sharp bits that may annoy the patient or anything that could prevent the surgical guide from seating in the mouth. And that's how you make a surgical guide for your patient using a 3D printer. Is this a workflow you would consider in your clinic or would you leave it to a lab? Let us know in the comments below.